2014 is coming to a close already and it's been another year for Guide to Life. It's amazing how far we have come. 2014, I think Guide to Life involved a lot of Dash episodes. People who have watched me grow up, they see how I grew up with him as well. You know, I have changed completely as a person because of him and he's the absolute star of my life now. So he should be the star in Guide to Life as well. He is meeting a lot of milestones, he's learned to walk, to talk and I'm so happy to share all that with you guys. 2014 was a really interesting year for Budget Barbie because other than the usual clothes and accessories, the show has headed for um, more direction as in budget lifestyle on the whole because I guess I'm also growing with the show and with the audience so I can't be forever just modelling cute and pretty clothes. So I guess now we can do a lot more budget stuff and someone now I'm like a mother-to-be. So I guess we can also do more um, with budget baby. <laughs> 2014 was very interesting because we got to share a lot of our travel experience with you on the show. We spent most of 2014 apart. I felt that filming alone was a little bit stressful. You know, I didn't have like Gem with me. Da-da. So, I mean, the most memorable part was when we reunited. One other part of the show that I enjoyed the most this year, the ability to be able to just share personal stories and not just talk about purely fashion. 2014 was the year that we started Hack It. It's been really, really enjoyable. I really love it. And this is my first time hosting an online TV show. So during the first episode, I was really, really nervous and I was kind of stiff and I wasn't able to get out of my shell quite yet. Looking back at the feedback and everybody's response, it really encouraged me to do better. During the next episodes, you'll slowly see me coming out of my cocoon and you probably want to stuff me back in by the end of it. <laughs> 2014 has been rather refreshing. We have a new show, Wonder Boys. Me being clicked for the first year and for the first time, in fact, my first time in my life doing anything vaguely as exciting as this. Even though Paul and I didn't know each other previously, but when we met on Wonder Boys, we just hit it off and... Um, it was kind of cool because there was a sense of camaraderie. Is that the correct pronunciation? Which one? Commandery, is that the correct pronunciation? Commandery? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, just, just a genuine question because I've been calling Kalimari my whole life. Kalimari. <laughs> yeah. One of the best things that has happened to me in 2014 was starting on this show called Food Porn. Sometimes we take people to places that, I know some of you said that, oh, you know, you can should you show more affordable food. But I think the whole idea of Food Porn is not just affordable food, which I love, but I think that bringing the audience to places that otherwise they would not step into, to me, that's another remarkable thing to do because um, otherwise, how would you know how does a uh, a restaurant that charges $688 look like. Why do people pay that kind of money? It's really good when people start to say, hey, I watched the show and it's really funny. And then they start to recall the little moments that happen in the show. A lot of moments I, I even forget myself, you know. I do a lot of nonsense. And I think the show brings a sort of irreverent humour and entertainment to just everyone. It's really been quite a ride. Huh? This may sound a bit weird, but Try and Chester has really taught me how to be comfortable with myself. A lot of people think that just to be yourself is probably the easiest thing to do, right? But once you get on camera to be yourself, it's actually very scary because sometimes, you know, maybe the things you laugh at are a little bit inappropriate and you don't know what people will think. You react in a way that you think people might not like. Sometimes you cannot tell, but a lot of these things go through our heads when we put up these shows for you. And so thank you for all your love. So I guess in 2015, maybe I'll try for another baby. I would like to have a girl. Yeah, but in case my second son is watching this in the future, I love you very much. Same as your Coco, okay? We both graduate in 2015, so I think the year will bring a lot of changes for both of us. And uh, I don't have a specific resolution, but as of every year, I just hope that the coming year will be better than the last. For 2015, you know, I just want to keep continuing what I'm doing, but just, you know, constantly be better at it. My resolution for 2015 would be, um, number one would be to of course give birth to a healthy baby la. My baby is due March 2015 and I'm really excited and of course I would love to share this experience with all my viewers. So stay tuned to Budget Barbie 2015. This year I want to grow up more. It's actually quite hard for me to grow up. I still keep a lot of toys at home. I still have a very small child in me. So I guess it's all about behaving a bit more properly outside. Toys. Sorry? Not sex toys. I mean like Transformers. <laughs> My resolution for 2015 is to lose not just a little weight but a hell of a lot of weight. I would like to focus on my body, okay? Um, not to have, have a Megan Fox body or something, uh, but uh, to have a healthier, more toned body and also to feel healthy. I never make resolutions for myself. Never. 
stick to it. <laughs> so there's no point. But as far as hack it goes, I hope it continues to do many, many, many episodes and keeps you all happy. Maybe we can get into DIY or, or do different things with the show. A lot of you know me from trying to test it as a host, but actually I uh, started a long time ago as an actor. So I would like to show a little bit of my life as an actor, like a different part of who I am, like who I am outside of trying to test it. But don't worry, we'll keep it beauty related. Don't need to say one. <laughs> I want to do more click show. Let's keep doing it. Okay, people who are not watching the click show, you guys got to get off your high horses or whatever it is that you're doing and then start a movement, man. And, and all the people that haven't watched the show, start watching the show with the people that have already watched the show and let's all get together in a tub, naked and foam party. And to everyone who's been watching Click Network, thank you so much. I wish you guys a great 2015. Thank you for coming back to watch and support all these years. It means a lot to me, it means a lot to us. For all of your encouragement and your support, I couldn't thank you enough. Thank you, a million thank yous plus more. Thank you so much. Keep the positivity and keep the happiness. Spread the love! Thank you guys for all your support and I love you. I love you all very much. Thank you so much for supporting us, you know, especially to me, I'm new in this channel and uh, it's a bit nerve-wracking sometimes, you know, and uh, thank you again for all your comments, especially to the one that I read that left me the most affected, which is the one that said that I look like a dugong. Also, I want to give a very big thank you to all the viewers, always leaving nice and encouraging comments and uh, although now I look a little bit like chubby and all, y'all really didn't help me a lot. So thank you. May the coming year be better than the last. Keep doing whatever you're doing and find direction in life. Not that you're aimless lah. But I'm just saying, we hope you actualize your goals yes. and dreams. Yes. Keep chasing dreams. You sound so Disney right now. Happy New Year everybody, be good. No, 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 no being good. Be naughty, okay? Be very, very naughty.